Aloha everyone, this is geologist Philip Ong bringing you guys an eruption quick take four months in, April 20th, 2021. It's been exactly four months since the onset of Kilauea's most recent summit eruption within Hale Ma'uma'u crater. Since the fissures opened up, partly beneath its growing west vent and partly beneath the now buried north vent. And meanwhile, the output of the volcano has slowed significantly and still lava continues to erupt. So we're going to start off showing you guys here. This video from a USGS at 10 times speed, the most recent inlet to the lava lake coming from that west vent complex. They say, the lava lake is supplied via an inlet on the west margin where a sluggish lava stream flows into the lake. And this is shown at 10 times speed. You really can see how much slower it is, uh, even just sped up here. So at actual speed, you can see how sluggish it actually may be. Video taken April 13th, about a week ago. The west vent entry points remain submerged. Their pathways are crusted over. You can see that the inlet point here and here breaking open from time to time during crust away. But otherwise, the major changes here are visible on an F1 thermal camera, once again, courtesy of the USGS Hawaiian Volcano Observatory. This recent enhanced time lapse uh, taken from that ca thermal camera is showing the west vent northeast complex right here and these small lava flows that are coming off of the side uh, crusted over here and you can see a few bigger bursts coming through and just within the last few days in the last week here. This is all in the context of the earlier pressure bursts we were having last week. Small adjustments within the overall declining output of the volcano but rearranging this west vent complex. You can see the original west vent cones comes into to glow here at the very end of the sequence. Here's a little bit wider view. You can see the whole circulating surface of the lava lake. And you can see perhaps two inlet points or at least a wider area than we were seeing about two weeks ago. And all that within the context of this crusted over large area of the lava lake, which over the last week has not had any ooze ups along the margin in the context of what we did see similarly to this last week. Here's a recent photograph from the USGS, April 13th, 2021, one week ago, showing a view from the opposite point of view, the west vent at the top left of the photograph here with the inlet point just below it to the right here, that northeast complex of the west vent over here and those small flows mostly on the backside into this area right around in here. You can also see there's a raised levee still. This is a perched lava pond. It's perched, but it also flows very slowly and submerges beneath that crust and circulates throughout that whole lava lake all the way to the east side, which is seen here. And you can see one of these ooze up flows that occurred recently along the margin of the lava lake that indicates that lava is fluid beneath the entire crust. You can see the most recent thermal map issued by the USGS. And if we zoom in, you can see only that open surface is the hottest, as well as the backside with lava flows here, visible on the sequence. The lava lake crested at 227 meters, 745 deep during the past week. But it's dropped back down since then, corresponding to this sequence of triple deflation that's ongoing at the volcano, a minor adjustment in the overall trend. Viewed in the last month context along the bottom axis here, you can see we have a, a long, slow increase, but more recently, a plateau here within the last week. Within the context of the whole eruption, most of the change occurred early on in that first month of the eruption, really in the first week. The lake filled 663 feet, or 202 meters, during that first month. And only 55 feet, 16 meters that next month, the second month. The third month, 14 feet, 5 meters. And this most recent month, the fourth month, the past month, only 9 feet, 3 meters total filling across the whole lava lake. SO2 emissions are also down, most recently measured around 950 tons per day. Not shown on this plot, but somewhere in this vicinity of here. And that's within a trend, what we've seen within the last two months or so. If we look back at the whole eruption sequence, during the first month, SO2 emissions peaked at nearly 50,000 tons per day. 
within the first couple of days of the eruption, really tailed off significantly since then, with maximum emissions during the second month at 2,200 tons per day, 1,100 tons per day the third month, and 1,200 tons per day this past month, so a little bit higher than the previous one, but about level about the same. Seismic activity is still below background levels. You can see before the eruption levels were quite a bit higher, and since the eruption has been ongoing, quite a bit lower. A little bit more and more clustered underneath the summit in the recent week or so, and still occurring a little bit under the south flank, especially this middle south flank of the volcano. Still below background levels there at the earthquakes. Looking at the ground tilt on the summit of the volcano here in a blue line, within the last week we've had one, two, and we're now ongoing in a third deflation inflation cycle here. These are all small. This is from two microradians. Minus two microradians total, four microradian change, not a huge amount. And part of the background of the volcano, but still when this happens, it may allow the lava levels to drop within the lava lake. And correspondingly, the lava level now is down to 741 feet, 226 meters, down one meter, is three feet due to that deflation cycle over the last week here. We look at a GPS across the summit. We're still extending, but at a slower rate than the majority of the first three months of the eruption as visible on the north to south distance here. Looking at the most recent eruptive map, you can see here the total area of eruption at 44 hectares, 109 acres. The active lake area in dark red here is down to 8 acres, 3 hectares. So it really closed in quite a bit. Most of that happened early on in the beginning of January, and the lava lake has active surface has retreated from around this big island to form this oval shaped nearest to the entry point the inlet at the west vent. Also issued on these maps are volumes right now we're 39 million cubic meters 10 billion gallons filling that lake. And if we look at the rates based on previous maps we can see here first in the red line volume going up went up quite a bit in that first week in the first month and more recently has flattened out more and more and more and is almost plateauing now. Correspondingly, in the yellow line, you can see the total area also growing quickly at first, jumping up, and then plateauing more recently. As far as the active lake area, it grew early as well, until early in January, when most of the eastern part of the crust crusted over, and we've had a decreasing active area surface ever since then. Finally, the volume rate, very roughly calculated here, spiking early on, around 90 cubic meters per second, just very roughly based off the maps, and then a slow decline in the first month, and really at lower levels, with an error of maybe around 1 cubic meter or so per second. Um, quite low here as well. To end it off, we'll show you the whole sequence in a thermal camera, quickly here, from the beginning of the, of the north vent, switching to the west vent, pressing over the back side, eastern part of the lava lake, and pulsing effects, and then the shrinking of that active lava surface back towards the west vent at the bottom of the image here. Some ooze-ups visible around, around the perimeter of that crust as well. Now in the visible camera, KW camera from the USGS, zoomed in here in just the sunset pictures, showing that same sequence. Very quick filling at first, withdrawing of the lava, active lava surface back towards the west vent pressing over of the eastern section. Here's the wide view of the KW camera that was cropped for the previous sequence. And you see the same pattern here. Now let's switch to the S1 camera. You can see it animated here, just daytime images showing that withdrawal back towards the west vent, and now the nighttime images only back through here. That's the zoomed in view, wider view here, showing that crusted over eastern, eastern section, as well as that island in the middle of the lava lake now, frozen, attached to that solidified eastern crust. And the same view once again, nighttime. And that's eruption quick take for the week, four months in. Aloha.